I'm Victoria Serna, I'm from Upland, California, Badlands, born and raised, um, and I paint and draw and make art. <laughs> um, well, I've been drawing like my whole life, but I'd say like when I first like felt like I, like this is what I wanted to like practice and keep doing because I like really loved it. it was eighth grade year after my parents divorced because that was just like my outlet. It's been like a solid like six, seven years of like constant, just like I just draw whenever I feel like it. Some of my favorite artists would definitely have to be um, Picasso. And then like Van Gogh, Monet, just because like their color blending skills are so on point. More recent artists like Eric Jones, like with his use of figures and like applying um, like geometric shapes and stuff along with it just to give it more background and feel. My influences like for ideas and stuff come from like anywhere. I definitely say music, like lyrics by far. I would listen, I would listen to something and if I like liked the lyric a lot, I would just write the lyric out and then afterwards I would just like illustrate it like how like my own visual representation of like the lyric. And then emotions, like shit, just things in life. You know, I'm feeling sad, so I'm gonna make my girl blue or I'm feeling like happy, so I just make the colors really bright or but like I, I'd say definitely now, I use a lot of like my like personal environment and like the emotions that I'm going through at the time just to like kind of like let things go out onto like canvas or on paper, or whatever I'm working with at the time. <laughs> Self-expression is like super important because I feel like it's a common thing in society right now for people not know how to express their emotions and it's in it's really unhealthy <laughs> like people don't realize that like keeping things bottled up so like finding some kind of like form like whether it's in art or music or like sports or anything like that is like a like another representation of yourself and it's just not like it's an outlet if I didn't have like a form to like self-express myself, I'd be, I'd be fucked. <laughs> like, it's, it's the thing that gets me through life. Being able to put my emotions like down onto canvas or paper. But yeah, don't underestimate that. <laughs> Pieces that I would say are like I'm more attached to, or just like have more, I guess, sentimental value. 
Uh, I'd say like these ones just because like this one, this is like the first piece I ever entered into like a local like art competition that Black Book Sessions does and they do like, they do one, I think it's like every, every how many months they go out, it's like a local thing they do to promote like the arts in um, like low income areas. But this one, I took second and like I was just really happy with it. It was a piece I had started and then um, I, I kind of like let it be for a while because I didn't know I had finished her and I didn't really know what to do for the background. And then I came back and I had gone out of town for like work and then when I came back I was like, oh, I'm gonna paint. So I just like added the flowers and then I did this one like during my birthday too so it was like my present to me. Bowie of course because like this one was done too like a week a week and a half or so after he had passed away like he was just such a huge influence for me. I got the tattoo, a lot insane tattoo and there's 69 stars for like his age and the golden year like this is this was the 69th star I drew, so I made it gold. It's just like his Golden Years like song, but I just like had to I had to paint like my influence. Like, he was just such a like a a pivotal point of like discovering his music and then allowing his music to influence me in my artwork. And then of course this girl right here, because skating is like just as much part of my life as my artwork is and this is my favorite book to go through like I open it and it's like a like crazy amount of feeling that just comes out there's like a lot of sadness a lot of like love a lot of like just mixed emotions and then this dude right here, this is a newer piece for like a new chapter in my life for going vegan and it says do unto others as you would want others to do unto you. Just like that, you know, put your like self in the position of another being. My goal with my artwork to influence people I'm reading this book right now called The Mission of Art by Alex Gray and it's like a consciousness book. It talks about like as an artist you have an influence over people that not everybody has because you have like a, a way to display a message or to communicate with like people through something other than language or like reading a book. Like it's a it's a visual representation of something. Yeah, I just want like people to understand like like a, a message that I'm trying to get across and if people like it and it's sick and if they don't then whatever. <laughs> My process, like how I begin something, most of the time it's like, it's always, especially now, like based around my six eyes. So like especially if I'm just doodling, it's just gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna start with my eyes, my nose, lips, form the face. And then if I'm like, depending on if I'm just doodling or if I have like a actual emotion or like concept behind it, sometimes it like starts like with the concept. Cause then it's like, I'm really trying to focus on like relaying that message of what I'm trying to like get across. But like, I'd say like 90% of the time with my eyes, and then going into like an emotion or sometimes like I'll start without having like a concept in mind and then just like thoughts are going and then I'm like oh, okay now I want to do this and then it's like then my like piece will take form and like I'll have more of a direction but sometimes like I don't ever find a direction I'm just kind of like going just doing like techniques that I know how to do or like similar designs that I always do but it just depends, like sometimes I could have like a, an idea of what I'm going to do or sometimes it's just like I just felt like putting something on paper because I was bored. <laughs> My dad has always been into skateboarding. Um, him and my mom 
when they moved to Upland, they lived right across the street from Pipeline. So my dad was always over there, like hanging out with Salba and Malba and all the Badlands dudes. So it was just like his thing to pass on to us. And my brother skates and skating is like just like a part of me. It It's like in the blood. It's something, it's another outlet for me. It's it's a different type of outlet than art. Fucking, I love skating. I miss it right now. <laughs> so, message or like what I want my audience to get out of my artwork kind of varies. It just depends on the kind of piece I'm working on or where I'm at, like in my head. Uh, doodles sometimes it's like it's like a literal journal so I don't know if I'm necessarily looking at it like for what I want my audience to receive but like just like how I'm feeling and then by default you know people are able to like be like oh you were sad or oh you were happy and get like a general feeling of emotion or sometimes like I want like an actual literal message but in like my doodles or like the stuff that I sell Mainly like um, the representation of movement and like vibrations in a way. Like people always ask me to, how'd you get so good? I feel like people don't realize that like you just gotta practice. So like my words of encouragement, practice. Don't ever stop. Like shit, it took me over six years to get to where I'm at. Like in progression, always fucking follow your heart, love your neighbor, be good to people, spread some love, don't hate. Um, follow me on Instagram <laughs> at girl 11 and I'm always posting stuff about when I'm vending next, so if you like what you see, you always hit me up there, I'm always open for commissions too. Love ya. <laughs>